When I stepped inside this diesel pusher motorhome, I did not expect to see not only two full bathrooms, but also bunk beds. Let's go take a look. What's up y'all and welcome back to another video. We are here in McLean's RV Superstores today in Rockwall, Texas, taking a look at this 2023 Winnebago Forza 38W. Now you're gonna be able to see the floor plan layout and specs on the screen here. And I'm really impressed with the fact that, again, like I said, this has two full bathrooms in it and bunk beds. So it's really impressive as far as the interior design goes, especially if you have more company that you wanna take along with you on motorhome trips. So let's go. Take a look at the outside because there's a lot to talk about on the outside then go take a look at the inside and walk you through this motorhome as we go through this video let me know what you think down below in the comments we make these videos definitely wanting your input and feedback so let me know what you like what you don't like as we go through this video and then keep in mind again we are here at mclean's rv superstores in rockwall texas so if you are interested in this rv we are here to help be like a middleman for you in purchasing your rv we vetted out about a dozen different dealerships here in Texas and really tried to decide which ones we felt like based on our experience and knowledge and experience with dealing with the different dealerships who would give you the best experience when purchasing your next RV and we really felt strongly that McLean's was one of the best dealerships in America that you can buy your RV from so if you are interested in purchasing this RV you can text us at the number on the screen or if maybe this isn't the exact RV for you but as you can see, there are plenty of other different RVs here that they have available and they have five different locations. If you're ready to just start shopping, you can text us at the number on the screen. We are here to help and make sure you have the most comfortable and enjoyable experience when it comes to purchasing your next RV. So let's run around the outside real quick. You can see your front cap area here. One thing that I really like is they added in this LED light bar here that you can see that runs along that space. So that is going to make that look really nice. And then back behind here, you are going to have your generator in that portion underneath the driver's seats. So you'll have generator up front. And as we come to the side, you are going to have a little mini awning here. It is an armless awning with the LED light strip over this entry door. You do have a powered step as you come along this side as well. And we'll go into more details about some of these things as we go through. But you're on a Freightliner custom chassis. It has about 340 horsepower Cummins diesel engine. And we'll see those as we go to the back comes with a Michelin tire. It's a 255-80R 22.5 tire with nice looking wheels on there, the Freightliner badge on there. And it's a good, nice Michelin tire that you're getting on this motorhome. Coming along this side, it does have passenger and driver side fuel tanks access. You're going to get a 90 gallon fuel capacity on those tanks. And then as we come along the side, Nice slam latch baggage doors. This does have a nice big storage access on this side and then it passes all the way through. So you can see there, it will pass all the way through to the other side. So nice big storage access. As we work along this passenger side, which will also be your camp side, when you are out camping, through here, you can see you have that chassis beam going across the center there. So you're gonna have about 10 inches below and above that there with storage that will pass all the way through. And then you do have lights here. Um, kind of best practice actually, uh, there's controls inside to turn these lights on and off. So you can just leave them on all the time and then you can actually flip the switch inside to turn them on and off on your control panel. Outlet here as well. And then a nice little feature if you're wanting to run maybe like an extension cable from this outlet there, they do have this spot here where you can feed a wire through. So you can see, you can kind of keep it just open there. So just the wire can fit through there or you can open it up so you can fit the whole plug through there. And then that will allow you to run an extension cord out of here or something along those lines and keep that door closed. We go along this side, again, same kind of storage setup here. And then you're gonna to start to see some of your Rotocast tanks here. So the nice thing with Winnebago is 
A lot of RV manufacturers, they are more like a RV assembler where they get a lot of their parts from different manufacturers and kind of piece it together. Winnebago is actually the opposite where they manufacture the majority of their parts and then build their motorhome off the parts that they manufacture themselves. Things like their Rotocast tanks for their water tank. So that is something where they have customized tanks. You can see that's a pretty unique tank design there. So they can really maximize their tank capacities and also give you proper weight distribution with your motorhomes. Same with their towable vehicles as well, or their towable RVs. See under here, you have your freshwater tank there. So this is gonna be where all your freshwater tank components are. Have a light here as well. And then going to have your water pump controls here also. So that will all be in this com uh, compartment right there. It does have the V-Ride on this motorhome. So we're gonna have a nice, smooth, comfortable ride with that V-Ride and down underneath here, you're going to have your inverter underneath here. So that is where that will be, battery disconnect switch as well. And then a light through this area. You can see it has a massive slide out on your campsite with your awning that will come out off of this area as well. It does have slide toppers on top of your slide out to protect those and then nice looking frameless windows all along the side. Now Forza has many different color options. So this one is in kind of a, it's almost like a, it's hard to say exactly. It's like a grayish tan kind of color, black, red, and gray. And then they have things like this more cream gray and gold color. So many different options that you can get. This is what they currently have here on the, on the uh, lot here at Rockwall. And then you can see here, it's a 340 horsepower Freightliner chassis on the XCS Freightliner custom chassis. Your engine component is gonna be back behind here. So behind this panel, you're gonna have some quick access points, things like your engine oil dipstick, your oil fill, your transmission fill, um, your air filter gauge that will let you know when it's time to replace your air filter. Um, and then you have some different things like you can see these right here, these are actually allowing air to flow into here and then they come down. And down underneath in this area, there is a air cleaner that is going to take that air, clean it out and then send it into your engine system to keep it cool as well. So all of those engine components will be back through here. And then underneath here, you're going to have a 10,000 pound receiver hitch. So this is going to allow you to tow things like a Jeep. Back behind here, you have a four to 5,000 pound Jeep can tow something like that comfortably. Or maybe you have a trailer with some toys that you wanna put in there, you'll be able to use that as well. Um, but most people, you gotta keep in mind, if you're traveling in something like this motorhome, if you're gonna be staying places for an extended period of time, and expect to drive yourself away from the place that you are staying, you're gonna probably want another vehicle with you so you aren't having to pack up your entire motorhome just to drive somewhere. So something to keep in mind. Of course, you have a backup camera up there as well, so you can see hopefully that little camera that you have there that will be your backup camera. And then as we come back along this way, this is going to be your dryer exhaust vent right there. So we'll see that when we go inside where that dryer is located. Two more slide outs on this side as well. Slide toppers on those. And then as we open up more of these doors, these are going to be your chassis batteries here. And then you have your fuse panels. So you can see here, these have these kind of pop out fuse panels here. So if any of these ever pop out, all you have to do is push them back in and that will reset the fuse. Those are gonna be your chassis batteries there. Then that was that air cleaner that I was talking about kind of behind that component there. Open this up. This is going to be your death fill fluid. So this is where you will fill your death fluid and it's going to have that tank there so you can fill that and storage down through here. Plus this is where your power cord is as well. So down through here you have a surge guard built in and let's see, let me make sure I'm not missing anything else down in this space. Um, cable and satellite connections are also going to be in this compartment here. Again, you have a light in this area as well. And oh, this is actually your transfer switch too. So what this does is this is going to transfer power from your generator to 50 amp power when you want it to do so. Now it gives preference, it gives preference, sorry, to the generator. So if you turn the generator on, it is going to prefer the generator. Um, an instance where that may happen, like say you're you know, running your RV on 50 amp power and power goes out and you switch it over or you turn on the generator, it is going to then go from trying to draw from 50 amp power to generator power. So if anything happens with your 50 amp power, 
that there will switch over that power to your generator power. Um, keep in mind too, things like um, surge protectors are gonna be very important because sometimes people can fry that transfer switch and they'll you know, get to their campsite or whatever and they'll be able to run power off their generator but they won't be able to run power off their 50 amp and they don't know exactly why. Heard of this happening before and a lot of times it's because something in that transfer switch blew out and a surge protector would have prevented that. So that is something to keep in mind, make sure that they, um, there's multiple layers of surge protection with your motor home to prevent something like that from happening. Again, a look at your wheels here as we go along this side and underneath here, it's gonna be your whole water bay area. So black and uh, gray tank dump valves there. You do have a water filtration system built in as well. And then you have an outdoor shower on this side, controls for your water pump, black tank flush valve so you can flush the black tank there and then you're going to have your fresh water inlet to fill your fresh water tank there as well. So those are gonna be all of your components for water fill up and dumping all through that area. Underneath here, more storage. You're gonna to start to see some of the pass-through storage compartments here from the other side. So quite a bit of exterior storage space, which is gonna be important, especially if you plan to bring, you know, the amount of people along that this motorhome really can accompany inside. And then down through here, propane bottle. This is gonna be an, about a 97 pound propane capacity in that tank there. And then you can see your storage that passes through along the top there, plus a little storage compartment here. You have your driver's side fuel fill up. So that will be your driver's side fuel. And over here, this is going to be another fuse panel that you have for the motorhome. This right here is actually going to be what releases this front area so that you can get into this front portion where your generator is at. So you'll have your Cummins generator down underneath here. This is going to be able to run the motorhome off of generator power. And then you'll have some different wiring and components through this area as well. So that'll be all your access points for those components. It is strut assisted as you come in and out of here. And then we'll just latch close. So that is everything on the outside. Oh, actually, you know, there's one other thing I missed. I totally just walked by the TV. You have a TV outside as well. So you have a Samsung TV if you want to have outside entertainment. This is in a great position where, you know, most people from your campsite will be able to see that where you're parked at. And you have an outside TV source there as well. So that is everything on the outside. Let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. Now, as we go inside, I want to talk about the price real quick. The MSRP on this motorhome is 387, 326. Now they do have it marked down to a sales price of 317, 697. So that is the sales price they have on this particular model that we are about to walk into. Again, if you are interested in this RV, we are at McLean's RV Superstores in Rockwall, Texas. The easiest way for you to have the most comfortable and enjoyable buying experience with your next RV is to text us at the number on the screen. We are here to help and make sure that you have a great experience with purchasing your next RV. So text us at the number on the screen. We look forward to hearing from you and whether you wanna buy this RV that we're looking at today or you just wanna start shopping for your next RV as there are so many different options out there. We are here to help and you can text us at the number to get started. So as we walk inside, there are just so many fun, exciting things to talk about. First of all, nice stitching and leather right when you walk in and then nice looking you know, step color as well. I just got a 2023 Tundra with a 1794 package and this gives me a very similar feel to the inside of that, especially with the stitching. So as we go through this too, just let me know kind of things you like and don't like and we definitely wanna hear your thoughts on what you think. I um, wanna talk about the doors real quick. I know that doors are not usually like a huge talking point. However, because Winnebago manufactures so much stuff themselves, this is a steel backed or steel reinforced door. So it is incredibly strong. You literally can hang your whole body weight from this door and it is going to be sturdy. And that is the same thing with this screen door as well. So just really good quality and very sturdy. Good feel on the build of the materials there. As you come inside, you're going to see right when you look to the left, you have different control panels here and your fire extinguisher. And one of the most impressive things is that this panel here actually pulls off. So all of these here, you can take this around with you. You can turn your lights on and off, your master light switch here, you can turn those on and off. And you can be sitting in the driver's seat or back in a sofa and you can have control of those components there. And I'm 
Trying to put this back in here with the wrong hand. There we go. Snap that back in place and that goes right back there. And then you have some things like your coach battery on and off switch, chassis battery on and off switch, your step switch, which it's best to actually just leave these steps out as much as possible. When you put the vehicle in drive, it is gonna extend or re retract those steps back in. But it's really unnecessary to have those steps go in and out every time you open and close this door because it's just gonna put unnecessary stress on that motor. So good to just leave those out most times. And then you're gonna have some awning controls there, um, lights for your awnings, things like that. Nice grab handles as well as you walk in, grab handle here, grab handle all the way up here, and grab handle there as well. So many different grab handles. You can see your air right through here, plus you have vents down underneath here as well. And then as we look up, you do have a light here as well, so you can see what you're, as you're coming in, and you have the LED light strip underneath that awning that can also be on for additional light. And as we come inside here, right away you can see you have a flip out table so this is going to extend out give you a table for when you're sitting in the passenger seat plus you have some additional you know tabletop space here essentially which this does actually flip up to give you storage and outlets underneath there and then we're going to keep coming back this way a little pocket there for additional storage really nice comfortable swivel seats here very comfortable drive in these seats and we're going to kind of start with the cab area first before we head back but such a comfortable seat that you're in you have day and night shades on your windows and as you look around i mean one of the joys of having a class a motorhome is the view that you get as you're driving down the road and exploring the country so you definitely get a great view there digital display you also have a sony screen here as well your vents there for your dash air and all of your vents here for your dash air as well on both sides then it does have air brakes on this motorhome auto leveling controls right here mirror controls and then your gen start you have heated mirrors as well and um, things like your air horn turning on your air horn there nice comfortable steering wheel and some different controls here on the steering wheel as well plus your obviously your cruise control and then as we step back i want to point out too one of the cool features is you do have this mirror here so you can actually see back into the rest of the motorhome and from the driver's seat you can kind of see what's going on behind you so that is a nice feature you're going to have cut out storage spaces here plus a light switch there for the person in the bunk above here and i'll show you what i mean by that in just a second plus more storage over here wi-fi extender and then you're going to have some outlets there slide out controls so if you're wanting to push slide outs in and out you have manual controls right there of your slide outs and then as we take a step back you do have the bed that drops down here so when you do want additional sleeping, that is another bed that can fit one to two adults comfortably up there, no problem. So you'll have that additional sleeping. It will come with a ladder that connects into here to get up into that bed space there that will drop down. Um, I also noticed something down underneath here. That is a JBL speaker down under there. So this does have a JBL sound system on it. Love that. Again, these chairs will swivel here. So that's additional seating when you get into this you know, being a camp setup type of deal, or if you just pull over on the side of the road and want to hang out. And then as we look back, this is your floor plan here. So really great floor plan. Again, I'm just so impressed with the fact that they're able to get two full bathrooms in here. We're going to take a look at that in a sec, but let's just start with going down this side. First of all, you're going to have a legless dinette table. So don't really have to worry about your legs smacking into things as you get in and out of here. It does have a nice almost it's a, like a shiny leather material and let's see the comfort on these pretty comfortable honestly it's not um i'm gonna be real with y'all it's not like the most comfortable dinette seat i've ever sat in but certainly not bad and then underneath here you do have storage underneath that space obviously you have your seat belts and whatnot and then this will drop down and make into a bed so if you want an additional bed here that's what these railings are there for this bed will drop down or this table will drop down and you can use the back cushions to fill that in and make a bed. You're going to have day and night shades on all of your windows going down this side. You have nice looking balances above the windows here with a nice looking like kind of soft touch leather material there. And then your storage up here goes all the way across. It's carpet lined on the bottom. So you'll have that additional storage throughout here. And sorry, it doesn't go all the way across. It's split in the middle right here. Then you'll have the same storage on this side. Then you have these two huge recliners 
directly across, well, maybe not directly across, but pretty dang close to directly across from the TV here. So that looks to be about a 50 inch screen Samsung TV. And these recliners here, let's see how they actually recline. They look like they will be nice and comfy. So you can see that kicks out and it kicked out very sturdy. There was no issue with that being like a sturdy leg rest. And that certainly does lay down almost all the way flat. So very comfortable seating space that you get with that as well. And then it does have, you see these little spots here. This is for a little table to go into. So a rod connected to a table would swivel around there. So you can eat from that position as well, or just have a spot to have a tabletop to work off of or whatever it may be. Two cup holders there, a massive armrest with a ton of storage in there. That is a huge storage compartment with little pockets in there as well. So it can put remotes and things like that inside that space. That is really nice and convenient actually having a designated storage spot for remotes. And then back behind this area, it does have kind of like a wood little tabletop space. Next to the dinette table, I did not show you have outlets there and you're going to have cup holders here as well. And I'm gonna take a step back real quick just to say, I apologize that the pace of this video feels a little quick. Um, I do not have the ACs turned on in here right now and it's about 100 degrees here in Texas right now. So you can see uh, I'm dying out here at the moment and I'm trying my best to keep all of the information in this video, but also get through it relatively quickly so I can get back into the AC. So I apologize if that is uh, not a comfortable pace for you, but I'm trying my best. And if you appreciate my efforts coming out here to make these videos for you, please hit the like button below and definitely subscribe to the channel if you aren't subscribed already. I am very excited because I haven't been giving a whole lot of attention and time to motorhomes over the last three years. And I really am going to dive heavy into the motorhome space more as we go through the rest of this year and into next year. So look forward to a lot more motorhome videos coming from me in this channel here. I'm very excited about. So let's keep moving through this space here. As I look up Max Air Vent Fan right there, you're gonna have LED lights all throughout the coach as well. And then it is a soft touch ceiling panel there as well. So you can see how that's a soft touch kind of leather feeling. It does have a cathedral style or barreled ceiling just a little bit. So it gives you that extra ceiling height where it's probably about six foot 10, maybe six foot nine in this interior space. So pretty good tall interior space there. A nice Samsung TV here. This is a very nice looking TV. Not a whole lot of space back behind there, but it does swivel out and you are able to get different viewing angles from that TV. So like that and like how just the cabling and everything is nicely confined in that space and they do a good job with that. Push that back in and then down underneath here, this is your sound bar and I do not, okay, there it is. It is a Samsung sound bar there. So you have a Samsung sound bar and then you're going to have your fireplace here. More of a traditional looking electric fireplace, which will be an electric heat source for you as well that is going to have those wood or fake wood logs in there instead of like the crystals we see in a lot of like fifth wheels and towable RVs. Through here, very shallow storage, but that is because there's a bathroom behind this space and then some shelved out storage with outlets there. As we come along this way, I really like the look of this kitchen countertop, solid surface countertop, and just a nice look with the wood color and the countertop color. Again, as we go through these things, let me know your thoughts and opinions on these as well. You have some storage built out here. So some nice shelving for different spices and smaller items there. Outlet here and underneath here is a split stainless steel sink. So I actually would have preferred to see a single basin stainless steel sink, but it is a split stainless steel sink there nonetheless. That is not my preferred choice, but some people do prefer it. I know if you've seen a Big Truck Big RV's channel, uh, JD over there, he prefers the split sink. So we've had in our videos that we've done together, we always have a disagreement on that. Right here, you're gonna have stainless steel faucet, storage up above, all carpet lined, and these shelves are adjustable through there. Nice solid feeling latches as well. Gonna keep those doors closed while you're going down the road. And then you have this massive Whirlpool microwave that also looks like it doubles as it's got to be a convection oven as well, I would think. I don't have like a an indication of that here that it is a convection oven, but you look inside here and it looks like 
it would have multiple different cook functions. So if you know more about this Whirlpool microwave, let me know. But that looks like a pretty high-tech microwave. Maybe some of your settings and options are here in the screen. Down underneath here, you can see the back wall on the kitchen, your MCD roller shades with a kitchen window there, lights underneath there, and then a three-burner Furion stove. No oven in this model, so they give you a lot more storage because of that. Look at how big these drawers are. I mean, those are just huge. So very big drawers there. And then another one there. Those have nice latches also to hold those closed. Then you're gonna have four more drawers that pull out here that are a little more shallow. And those again, just go back so far. So, so much storage space you're gonna get in there. No floor vents for the heating in here. So you can see their heating is ran through the cabinetry. So you won't have to deal with any you know, floor vents in your motor home. And then as we go along this way, going to have shelving through here that is adjustable as well and also carpet line for like a little mini pantry. And then a residential Whirlpool refrigerator does have an ice maker in it as well. And you'll have your refrigerator here. It does have handles on it that they just have not installed yet. So it will have those as well. That's what these little knobs are here for, I'm assuming. So that will be your refrigerator. And then the nice thing about Winnebago is, again, they manufacture so many of their parts in-house. So things like their cabinetry and their woodwork and stuff like that, a lot of that stuff is done in-house. Um, things like their exterior baggage doors, their entry doors, so much of this stuff. And what's also convenient about that, not just the fact that they make it themselves, but also the fact that if something ever fails on you or needs to be replaced, it's not like you're contacting the manufacturer of the RV and then the manufacturer of the RV has to contact another company because that's where they source the part from and it takes you forever to get a replacement part in. Most of the things that you may ever need replaced on your motorhome, Winnebago makes in-house. So it's just a much more seamless process in the event that something needs to be replaced on your motorhome. So that is something to keep in mind as well. I um, wanted to show real quick too on the driver's side, you do have two cup holders here and you do have like a spot there to hold some books or magazines, outlet as well. So those are all on the driver's side. Now let's work our way back and get to where a lot of the real magic is on this motorhome. First of all, you have a designated bunk space here. So two bunk beds, if you need additional sleeping for kids, this is where they will go. And this is a flex space, so this actually flips up like so, and then you have a rod here that will drop down and this becomes a closet as well with storage pockets there. You still have the seat here that you can use so you can like sit down to put your shoes and socks on, but you can hang a bunch of clothes ac across that clothing rod there and then it flips up when you don't need it. So very convenient use of the space. Plus you have the privacy curtains here. So you get that privacy when it's needed. And then you do have lights back in this space here along this wall as well. USB ports there for charging and another light here. So that's what you'll see with most motorhomes. A lot of them that do bunk models are going to put the bunk somewhere here in the middle and then directly across from that. When I first stepped into this, I expected it to be a half bath. Like that's pretty standard, pretty normal, right? No, this is a full bathroom. And look at the shape and design of this shower. Very interesting. It is not a conventional shaped shower and has a great ceiling height in here because it's more towards the middle of the RV there. It obviously extends back a little bit, but you even get a molded in seat. And I'm actually gonna step in here because I'm 6'2", and being 6'2", I wish they would have positioned the shower head a little bit higher because the camera is now at my eye level and you can see I'm taller than the shower head. They could have extended that up a little bit. Wish they would have done that. But nonetheless, I can easily lift this up to get it up over my head. And because of the design of this, it's very easy to just sit down here and have a comfortable space to take a shower. This is actually probably how I would take a shower, just point the shower head at me here and I would sit down most of the time. And it's a very comfortable space. I mean, look at how much knee room I have to the glass doors. So I really like that. Um, one thing I'm not a huge fan of, but it's okay, is this is a plastic two-piece shower. So you have a seam here in the bottom and it's two pieces and it's a plastic shower. So not a huge fan of that, but it's also uh, one of the less expensive or one of the least expensive diesel pusher motorhomes in America that you can get. So that is part of the reason there. Gonna have a nice big window here that is also your emergency exit, day and night shades on that window. And then you have medicine cabinet storage here. 
that will pop open. Plus you'll have another mirror there as well. Nice stainless steel sink. That is a big sink bowl there. Porcelain foot flush toilet. And then you have a little kind of makeshift bidet there. Let me know your thoughts about that. But it does give you a little shower head there to act as a bidet. Um, feels like these are soft closed toilet seats. Yes, they are. And you have another spot. You can put some books or magazines for your bathroom breaks, storage underneath the sink, and toilet paper holder right there. Plus you have outlets here as well and control panel and a little hook here for towels another hook here for towels as well so nice little built-in features like that plus there is a max air vent fan in here so you get a nice quality vent fan as we go back to the bedroom this entry into the bedroom just feels massive you will have a sliding door here that will come across for your privacy so you will have that there for your privacy when needed. And when you don't need it, it is just a huge entryway. You're also gonna have touchscreen control panel here for your motorhome. So you'll be able to control all the aspects of your motorhome from this panel here. Plus you will also be able to connect this to your phone and control components from your phone. Here is your Truma AquaGo control as well. So this is gonna be your tankless water heater. That will be to control that there. And then as we go back into here, it's pretty interesting because you get quite a bit of storage. This is opposing slide outs in this bedroom. So part of what makes that feel so huge in here, if you don't know what I mean by that, your slide out for this area is here and then goes all the way down that wall. And then when I turn around, you can see there's also a slide out here where the bed is at. So that is slid out as well. So that's going to really open up this floor space. You can see you have a clothing rod all the way through here in this area. And then you're going to have, those are the tables for the chairs, I believe. Carpet lined underneath here and some other parts that this motorhome will come with. But what's interesting is we keep looking through the storage is there is no designated TV in this area. So you have the four drawers there, you have the closet, but no TV, which is kind of a bummer until you realize that there's this thing right here and it's like, what the heck is that? I will admit this isn't like the best looking finish ever because it is just kind of like a beige plastic, but you have a flip down TV there that is really tucked out of the way when you don't need it and there when you do want it. So that is pretty neat and pretty interesting. Let me know what you think about that and that little feature. In this motorhome, I believe just because the two bathrooms in here, they condense this down to a queen size bed. There is sides, sorry, there is space on both sides of the bed. So I'm curious if a king bed would fit in here, but I don't know if that would be the case. So queen size bed in here, nonetheless. Outlets here, wireless charging pads for your phones and USB ports there as well. So you will have multiple different ways to charge. You have a nice plush headboard there, plus control panel right here for different lights and generator start stop things like that directly from your bed storage up above the bed again carpet lined throughout that area and windows with day and night shades on both sides same storage on this side and of course you have to have a full body mirror so you can see what your outfit looks like before you go outside so you have that full body mirror there as well then that is going to bring us back to the second full bathroom and there is some pretty cool interesting stuff happening back here. First of all, you start to the right, you have your shower, again, a plastic two-piece shower with a molded in seat. It's going to have a skylight in it, but they do also build in a dome light there. So if you're showering at night, one thing a lot of people don't think about when they're going to purchase an RV is you're always looking at them during the day, but at night you're not getting this natural light coming in. So they did build in a light there as well. Step in here, it is a little bit less ceiling height than in the other shower. So it's actually only about like, 6162 to right here and then you'll probably get about 65 in the skylight so um camera you can see it's at about my eye position and this is well beneath that so uh, kind of harder to take a shower in here definitely going to have to sit in the seat and it is a relatively small seat so it's not super comfortable sitting in that spot honestly so not the best shower ever but that other shower does make up for it because that other shower to me is much preferred over this one. But if you're under six feet tall, you'll probably be a bit more comfortable in here than I am being 6'2". Coming across here, you have a great amount of countertop space around the sink. So a good area there. It does have a sink cover, but it does have a stainless steel sink underneath there with a stainless steel faucet. 
And then one of the most interesting things is look at this. You remember when we were in like the cafeteria in elementary school and they, um, you know, lifted up and closed all those shades where you would go get your food. That's kind of what this reminds me of. And back underneath here, you have your dryer concealed behind this space. So you have this little dryer here. And I just thought that was so interesting, the placement of it. And then across from here, you have your washer. So you'll get the washer and dryer. It is just not conventional to what you normally see. Very curious your thoughts on that. Again, you'll just pull this down and that kind of conceals that out of the way. And then you have storage up through here. Medicine cabinet has a nice handle on it and just a wooden framed out medicine cabinet. It looks really nice. You can see there. AC back in here, so that's your second AC. Both of them are ducted together. You have storage back through here as well. And then back behind me, of course, is your toilet. This is going to be a really nice Tecma toilet. And you can see you have a water saver flush system or a normal flush system. And this looks, yeah, it has a wooden toilet seat on it. So just a really nice, good quality toilet that you get there. It doesn't have soft clothes though, so it is gonna slam shut on you. But that's a nice, good toilet off center there. So it gives you plenty of shoulder room on both sides and toilet paper roll there. Have your towel rack, vent fan in here and another towel hook right here with the custom Winnebago design. So pretty interesting bathroom nonetheless. Now that is just about everything on this motorhome. I'm very curious your thoughts. So let me know what you think, what you like, what you don't like about this motorhome. And then again, if you are interested in this motorhome, we are here to help. We would love to help you with purchasing your next RV. We are here at McLean's RV Superstores in Rockwall, Texas. And you can text us at the number on the screen. McLean's has five different locations four in Texas, one in Oklahoma. They carry a lot of the same brands at all their different stores. And we sought out McLean's and we wanted to work with McLean's because we believe they're one of the best dealerships in America that you can buy your RV from, both with the quality of the products that they carry and the quality of service that they give you as a customer of theirs. So you can text us at the number on the screen if you are ready to start shopping for your next RV. We truly believe you'll have a great experience if you come through us to purchase your next RV and that's what we're here to do. So text us when you're ready, whether you want this specific RV we're in or you're just ready to start shopping for your next RV, we're here to help. That's all I got for y'all. Let me know if I missed anything in the comments or if you have any questions, I'm there to talk to you as well. And until next time, live firmly on bound. Thank mm -hmm. you.